how are you doing? I hope the sound is okay. I've got my air conditioner on because, well, I'm in Kansas and it's at the end of July and it is hot. So I hope, I hope it sounds okay. I finished a sketchbook today. I finished this one. It is a Stoneman and Burn. And I dated it. I had to look inside and see what. Uh, I started this on August 22nd. I tend to work in several different ones at the same time. I'm going to do a flip through of this one and maybe another one. And I'm trying to get back into the habit of using my sketchbook on a regular basis. Sorry, you can see my cord there. Do, 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 do. There, I hope that took care of it. Okay, so when I first got this, I did a, a live demo, and this is not very good. I thought this was done on, uh, I thought this was gessoed. I did a live, and I tested this out. I was testing out both things, actually, doing a live and using a sketchbook. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not happy with this, is what I'm trying to say. It didn't didn't do my it didn't fulfill my goal but we survived we got through it and then i started doing uh this was also alive and apparently i did this in september of last year so this was almost a year ago and that's poncho it looks more like acrylic but it says it's oil and then i hope Oh, that's not too bad. The crinkling of the paper I was worried about. Uh, this was another demo. This is a demo that I did in August. And I liked how I put the colors on the side there. I try and put notes to let me know. And I'm really glad I did. I don't remember a lot about the process that I'm trying to do. This was just an experiment, apparently, with uh, mineral spirits. It says, mineral spirits applied, areas scraped off with palette knife, clear gesso applied. Some areas went better than others. I played with it. I was too impatient, and it wasn't completely dry. That may have had an effect on it. And these were just cheap oil pastels. Uh, another one of one of the dogs. It doesn't say if this was oil or acrylic. And again, I gessoed the page. This I wasn't happy with. It was just a study from a photo. And I think it was oil also. Yeah, it was a learning experiment. Caught that. Uh, these were some abstracts that I did. Just playing around uh, with mixed media. There's some Crayola in here, and there's acrylic, and I don't know what all. And then this was a practice exercise that I did for a class that I put together. And this was this was a drawing demo. It's not a good likeness, but um, it was fun to do. This was a master study I did of John Singer Sargent in October, apparently. This was a mixed media that I was starting with. It feels like I put a clear gesso over the top of it. It just says playing with collage and colors. And it's kind of got the rainbowish and values in there. I still may go back and go over this. I like that. I like the feel of that. Like it has possibilities. And then these are just some quick sketches that I did. Uh, this was in a cemetery. Cemetery. Um, a downtown. Downtown. Just quick ske value sketches. This is one I might turn into a painting study. I'm probably going to refer back to this one, to that interior. 
Uh, just a quick study. Swatches. There's a lot of swatches in here. This is another drawing example I did for a course that I, that I was doing. This was color wheel video that I did. This was on oil pastels, the difference between uh, the types. And then another sergeant study. This one I did last month. Uh, this was just playing with it, playing with things last month. I kind of like parts of this one. I, I, the jelly roll pins, the white ones on top of things. I, I don't like the whole piece, but there's areas that I've started playing a little more with uh, using the white jelly roll on things. And that's what this is too. I tried to do this at um, a family member's house and Poncho just was not having it. And again, I went over with Jelly Roll on top of it. I think this is, oh, that's soft pastel. I think I started with colored pencil and then went over, yeah. And then I added the ink on top of it. This is, I was playing with markers at a local spot. This, I took a reference photo of it too because I know I know this looks really simple, but there's something about it that makes me want to do it really large. These were the ones that I did the head study multiple times. But there's a video on that. And then that, there's the head study I did in charcoal. Uh, some more sketches I did. This is that same same shoreline and I was just breaking down the colors a little bit with markers. And this is a sculpture. Again, a sculpture and it bled through. I'm not that worried about it. These were some some swatches. Swatches. I think most of the rest of it's swatches. Oh, there's one that's a, this was an experiment. That's some kind of neat texture. More swatches. And that's the end of that one. This one, the paper, it's a Stillman and Burn. The paper's pretty thin uh, compared to these other ones that I prefer to use now. But this one served me well. And I still, like I said, I'm going to probably re be referring back to it, so... I'm just looking at these. These were sketches from last year. Um, there's some in here. This one, I thought of doing something with. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me just go through it this way. Uh, that was a quick sketching trip, composition exercise, working out the values, um, this is a painting I'm considering doing. This is one that I did do for a local, local theater group. I have some photos of the finished painting of this that I like how it turned out. I might include those a photo here. And then here's some value sketches. Just some some composition exercises, thumbnails. Um, it's just a rock study, it says. Looks like I did it in December of last year. Light study. This was a still life that I had. I was working on seeing the planes of his face. So just quick 
studies. Oh, I kind of like that one, but it's so it's too tight. It's much tighter than I prefer. This I think was the study I did for the painting that was in the last one. I did a painting study in it. Studies. We no longer have Sparky. He's gone over the Rainbow Bridge. I did some of my daughter's chickens. I like some of the lines in this. I may do something with this one. See, this is the great thing about having sketchbooks. Because you can go back and you can, oh, that'll work for this or... This was uh, a grandson did this. I let him work in my sketchbook with me. So say no. Oh, it says I have problems with the ellipses, so I was just practicing. I need to do that some more. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the bottom, it's chicken tail feathers. When I was looking at it this way, it looked like this was a thumb and it had six fingers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting it all over me back here. I do want to do something with the chickens. I like this, this line through here. Need to do a painting of Poncho. Studies. These are just more chickens. These were back in June of last year. Just some an exercise I did. Um, Oliver Sin examples that were in an art magazine. I need to do more hands. I see myself doing more hands in the future. I kind of like that one though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the reference of that if it was from a This is Artist Magazine references back in May. Hand study. Just playing around, experimenting. I like this pose. I saw this on on a man's on somebody's Instagram, and I like the, the way the pose was. This was inspired from a cover of the artist magazine and if you know you know they had this dog on there it was just it was an adorable cover and just some quick sketches what is that oh. More sketches what is that I'm trying to um, skip past anything that has nudity. There's a value scale, very important. Again, working on the planes. Um, apparently I did this back in April. January, February, March, yeah, April of last year. This tends to be a very common pose of ponchos. A lot of poncho in there. Somebody looking at you. I 
I don't I don't really care for this one. See, a lot of these they're so tight. Um, yeah, this is from a couple of years ago. And that's that's all that's in that one. And this just says sketches of 2022. This one was the Strata easel from uh, the beginning of the year. They did this in, they did an easel challenge in January, I believe. And I saw the other day that they're going to do one in September. So that's what made me think of doing this because I need to figure out which sketchbook I'm going to use because I really like having these all in one like this. And I think I did a video showing all of these. If not, I will do that next. This one was from last year and then up until April. Skip that. I don't want to show my... These were some... I did these for class through course, uh, yeah, Coursera. I did these of, it was on uh, abstract artist, and I went through and did a study of each. This is a Mark Rothko study. This one I feel like I've shown you before because the, I remember saying this one took forever to dry. Because it just, the paint, of course that's Pollock. That was part of that course I did too. I think this was a live, yeah, this was a live demo I did August of last year. I'm not sure that it's still on the channel. Another... Yeah, that was another live demo. Another demo I did. I did quite a few demos last year, it looks like. I like the looseness of this. This, and I want to say this was acrylic. Now, th I know this was acrylic because I hadn't used acrylics in forever. And I did that as a live demo, so I could... I was hoping, well, when I went through it, there were a lot of challenges in it. And I wanted to, I wanted to record going through those challenges. I think I've done these already. It's more that course. Um, this is a study from Sandy Hester's. Again, I'm not sure. I think I've already shown you these. Fairfield Porter, Sandy Hester's study. I really like how she like goes around objects. I love that. I don't know if it's the tension or exactly how to describe it but you know like you do the sky after you do after you put the tree limbs in that type of thing this was a acrylic sketch from October this was a master study and I don't think I'm going to be able to leave that in there because it was sticking this one I did. I did this one on, on video, too. Do I have a lot? I, see, I need to I need to be doing some of those. Those were kind of sticking together there. This, I like this area. The looseness of that. This was a the food painting challenge that's on Instagram uh, back in February I did that one just a study study then I started doing more landscapes attempting to loosen up this is oil pastel 
oil pastel. Let's see, some of these I like better than the ones I've been doing lately. I like the looseness of them. them. There's just, but these are in oil pastel. And I need to figure out a good way to transfer that, that feel to oil paint. Yeah, this was from the reference photo, the Flint Hills in Kansas. And it's that same sitting. Yeah. That was just an experiment. This was a study done from a reference photo. I filmed a demo while doing it. That's another one. I'm not sure what to say about these other than there. This one was one that I did as a demo for that the drawing course I was working on that I um, have through Thinkific. I'm updating it at the moment. I like that one. Another, this is another of the food painting challenge. And then swatches. Always swatches. Swatches. I need to do swatches on a on a card instead of in the that way I can just take them out, take them with me. This was this was the Strata easel one. I'll go through these real quick. Some of these I did um, on individual papers, and then as you can see, I inserted them because I wanted. I wanted to keep them all together. So they're all in this sketchbook. So that's what this whole thing is. is those swatches. There's another Mr. Poncho. It's just a quick study. Oops. I'll clip that out. Let's go start with the back swatches. This, I like this one. This one, this landscape back here, the bluish, you know, the gray that you get. This one I thought that was too, too bright. I prefer this one. And I've wanted to do this one as a large one in oil, or use us use it to do a, an oil from still live day twenty one. This is day twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen, sixteenth. This was January sixteenth this year. I like these donuts. I might have to turn that into a sticker. This was the fourteenth. I was playing with the colors and the shadows. I, I, there's some kind of neat areas in there. This was the 12th. And see, this is what I mean by putting the limbs in first and then doing the, the sky behind it. This really looks like January in Kansas. We did some manners on the 11th. 
Mr. Poncho on day 10. I did another banana. Looks like a very ripe banana. That one was not successful. I'm not, yeah. I like that one. See, that might make an interesting sticker, sticker of some sort, too. This was the sixth. See the see the way it is up here, the smushiness. That's that's what I want to get. That's what I this up here. That part. That's what I day five. Looks like my paper's torn here. That was day four. I didn't, yeah, that's not, it was from a photo reference, and it's, I just, I, I, yeah. That was day four. Day two. I like these up here. I like this part. This part up here. When I'm looking at it on the camera, if, yeah, it looks, yeah, I may need to do something with that one sometime, too. And this was day one. I was starting basic. Starting with the oil pastels. I think this was one of my first, yeah. This was the first time using some the air pastels. That was in December-ish. Yeah, this is like I was saying about the limbs, around the limbs. Yeah, there I went out in the yard and just experimented. It was, mu it, the, I, yeah, not much to... That's a little, this one I use mineral spirits on, but yeah, some of these I've manipulated too much. Some exercises on things you can do with pastels, oil pastels. So I hope you have enjoyed looking through these with me. It's been a while since I've looked through some of these. And it reminds me of some things I want to try, so I'm glad I kept these. So right now, this is the pile that we went through. And maybe I need to, yeah, I need to put some tape on that to help, like I did on these, and la label it underneath. Yeah. But today I start a new sketchbook, so... Wish me luck, and thank you for watching. You all are amazing. I cannot tell you how much I love you watching these videos and supporting me. It means the world to me. I do not have words. It's just, it means a great deal to me. So thank you for being here, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.